Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Starting a new game tonight. This is Gunlocked. This was just recent re recently released out of early access to hit 1.0 yesterday, in fact. Um, I believe it had it originally hit early access, I think, April or perhaps March of this year. Um, so pretty new. Pretty new. Um, it's billed as a twin stick shooter without the twin stick, which uh, makes me excited and also a little sad because I do like twin stick. Um, so we'll see how far it goes in eliminating the twin stick out of twin stick shooter. Um, okay, let's, let's get going. I think audio is dialed in pretty okay. Um, let's just take a quick spin through the options just in case. Uh, one bar each on there, it's fine. Uh, screen shake, we'll see if we turn that off or not. <laughs> we'll see how strong it is. Um, then it looks like, okay, controls are pretty basic. We'll be fine. Um, Chivos we won't really care about, probably. Uh, let's start a new game. Oh, hey, look at this. Okay. Uh, so, wow. All right, five different selections to make here. Uh, pilots first, I suppose. Uh, looks like we've got two to choose from right out the gate and five more to unlock. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, so we got scouts with weapon and gun lock and augment aimbot, radar system, unlocking an enemies, fire safety damage, blah, 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 blah. And the next gun lock says so auto lock under a random enemy at range, 10 seconds. Okay, and then Artemis. After acquiring a target, the aiming ray fires a 50 damage beam attack. Spotting scope, let's go box on an enemy. If Artemis targets that, enemy with their light rail, it will fire instantly. Three second recharge. Uh, interesting. Alright, well, let's start with Scout, I suppose. It seems fine. And then Augments. Each pilot begins with one unique Augment that they'll equip. Always equip. Um, you may equip up to three additional Augments. We earn by completing research tasks. Yada yada yada. Uh, they're not upgraded during battle, okay. Cool. Um, looks like we've really just got the opening stuff for now, huh? And then we unlock this as we go. Oh, I see, but we can't take any of these because these are unique to the other, um, the other pilots. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we'll wait to read about those once we unlock them and equip them and use them and shit. So it looks like we're... Uh, using the aimbot augments, auto lock under random enemy at range, 10 second recharge. 10 second recharge. 10 seconds is a lot of time. All right, no big. We've got ships. Okay, looks like four different types of ships and then four colors each. Seems cool. Um, well, let's start off with the uh, blue. Oh no, silver. I like silver. Silver, silver looks sharp. Um, and trials. Additional challenges that can be activated to increase difficulty level. Okay, so optional challenge stuff. That's cool. Any number of trials can be activated at a time. Each has its own challenge level. That one combined determine your total difficulty level. Unlock and you beat any zone in the game. Okay, so nothing available to us right now because we just started. No problem. We'll take a look at those once we get unlocks. And then, okay, Codex is the info dumps for everything. Um, clearly we have nothing to learn about yet. So, all right, and then deploy. Okay, and it looks like four levels. I wonder if we're gonna do these all in sequence or if there's a little intermission between them. I guess we'll find out. Void Colony, Rachni Belt, Sleppy Sector, and Analyst Void. Ooh, okay. All right, let's go. Let's, uh, oh, I see. And then you selected a difficulty, huh? All right, well, you know, be remiss not to play the tutorial, I suppose. Find out what's going on. Let's go. Oh, and they give you the three second countdown and you're into it. All right. We said the human race response, we don't have the time, blah, 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 blah. About to get a crash course. <laughs> okay. This is the swarm here and everywhere. They'll be coming at you from every angle. They'll be you just pretty safe because you don't have to worry about all that. You don't even have to aim. Hey, that sounds great. I like not having to do things. Uh, the steward is marvel as a move. You see a rock, you move. You see a missile, you move. Just keep moving, huh? Okay. So we literally only be using the D-pad, possibly the stick? That, that's interesting. Interesting gimmick. All right. The following gun barrels can aim on its own. Just keep it in one piece. Okay. Every time your upgrade recharges, it'll trigger automatically. You can see the recharge meter on the left-hand side. Okay. Yep, I see that. The edge of enemy territory patrols are light and get grips. Okay. All right. Okay, yep, there's the movement. I see. 
Okay, and then it does its thing. Alright. Let's see if I found some gems. Collect enough, we can send over plants for powerful upgrades. I'd like to re-roll. Okay, okay, so currency. Currency, currency, got it, got it, got it. Hey, Cave, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, the right, we'll fully upgrade weapon, the right utility, you might discover new and interesting ways to fight. It'd be easy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, alright. Destroy shit, get gems, upgrade shit. Got it. Pretty easy. So we'll want to... probably scan as many things as we can in one pass, because it does seem to take a bit of... Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna have to maneuver this in an appropriate way to destroy shit. And then we've got the um, extra little aimbot thing that does the targeting of one thing. I see. Okay. One extra thing outside of our... Ouch. Okay. Don't slam into shit. Oh, I guess we're, we charged up. Alright. Um, so we've got some three choices here, alright, and a reroll, in case we don't like them. Okay, drone floor. Charge the movement, fully charged, creates a temporary copy of a random drone that you have equipped. Drone lasts for four seconds. Well, we don't have drones, so that seems, uh, ill... ill-fated for us. Every drone you have after that you have equipped... after the first that you have equipped, the clone recharge time is reduced by 13%, I see. Okay, and then it tells us which shit it synergizes with. Okay, so we don't have anything that it synergizes with. Probably not a good good type. <clears throat> Kinetic Shield. As you move around, kinetic armor charges up. Full charge, you gain armor that blocks the next damage you take and gives you half a second of invulnerability. Will not charge if armor, armor is currently active. I see. Okay, so a one-hit shield. Heat Seeker. Every three seconds, Heat Seeker locks onto a burning target and launches a 10 damage missile at it. Okay, that's cool. I don't think we have anything that causes fire. Uh, alright, shield seems good. Let's go. Oh, alright. Listen, dude, synergy sent over that. Not good to make better. Show me the whole. I got so much. Pay attention to your upgrade types, or maybe more synergies that aren't listed. Oh, okay. So, additional stuffs that they did not tell us about. That's cool. Boy, that's kind of an. It's an awkward thing to maneuver around. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that. Up in the top right there. Uh, yeah, impulse trap. Straight and trigger. Delayed pulse of disabling energy. If you're in its radius when it goes boom, your ship's systems are going with it. Auto reboot function, but it can take time. Time we do not have. I agree with that. off, I guess. Oh, I see. We probably destroy it, and then it goes kaboomzos? Okay. I see. Boy, this is... This is interesting so far. I guess all we're in charge of so far is movement. I wonder if we're gonna get additional responsibilities at some point. But for now... Sort of good at. Oh, I, and I see down at the bottom there's our shield. Okay. And it looks like it slowly recharges. Oh, plus we've got the little kinetic shield thing, so as long as we're moving around, we charge something up. Oh, I see. So I think our little radar scanning thing only does three targets. I probably read that, and I just immediately forgot about it. Alright, what do we got here? Hand appears randomly on the left or right side of the ship and charges up an attack, then fires a 20 damage beam, force energy that damages and knocks all enemies back that it passes through. Okay. Four second recharge time. Seems I... Uh, upgrades deal 10%. Okay, so that's for electric stuff that I don't have, it looks like. With energy, detonate on two targets in front of your ship, dealing 26 damage to enemies in the target area and burning them. That sounds fun, let's do that one. Oh, I see. Okay. That's interesting. I guess that would go- oops, excuse me. I guess that would go well with, uh... 
Oh wow, alright. Got the next one already. Okay. So we can choose to get, like, different... purely synergistic upgrades, or we can get extra weapons, and... Okay, okay. Afterburners periodically fire two projectiles directly behind you. Um, former force effects hit enemies. The feedback loops meter full sharing one of the meters full. The feedback loop will fill the recharge meter of one random weapon by 24%. Huh. Now let's go sidelines. Let's load up on a, as many different weapons as we can and see what we can do with all the cool shit. Now it becomes a a task of managing all the various things we've, we're gonna have going on here. Next three lock on stun enemies for a quarter second and deal 12 electrical damage. Yada yada yada. These spheres float in front of your ship every 3.5 seconds. Release electric beam damage. That seems pretty all right. Oh, okay. It looks like we can only have four weapons active at a time though. Interesting, interesting. Um, but I do like that electro line, it sounds like, so. Oh, there's another uh, so advantage to deploy a high speed upgrade transmission beacon. Okay. Move over and download the data to upgrade a piece of equipment on your ship. Well, your job is to move, but if you leave the beacons, okay, so. Stay still in there. Got it. <laughs> easy peasy. I see. Get a little bit of- oops! Okay, well, too late. And then that's just straight up upgrade to that. Very good. Um, I think we got hit by that EMP thing accidentally. Oh well. Ow. This is interesting. I can see this starting to stack up into some pretty wild stuff here. I see. Then we can pick a thing a second time to charge it up, or to make it better. Okay. Um, does it tell me... Oh, it does, in the top right there. What if it's a utility, a weapon, or an augment? Okay. Um, for eight seconds, your next force effect is electric explosive projectile at a random area on the battlefield. Okay. Sounds good. As long as this random shit helps me, I'm cool with it. Uh, oh, uh, okay, over top left there. Scared plant ship blowing over there like the bell of the Powerful experimental items. Or, sorry, power ol. <laughs> Oops, little typo there. This is designed to interface with them, at least temporarily, so how about you? Okay, okay. So probably do not do a destroy. Or not. I, okay. Oh, I see, they were talking about the items, not the ship itself. <laughs> Very good. Increase the number of enemies your lock on abilities can target by one. Heat Seeker uh, seems good as well, since we've got something that does fire damage, right? Yeah. Um, or, every six seconds, three enemies are targeted by lock on effects. Well, three enemies targeted by lock on effects take an additional ten damage. Um, well, let's go radar array, I guess. So I'm curious now, since we're gonna have some pull up categories of our stuff sooner rather than later. Will it then replace stuff, or will it probably favor stuff we already have so we can upgrade it? Hopefully we survive long enough to make sure. Uh, enemy is an overshield, these are overcounted shows immune to ele elemental effects like electric and burn. Got a chunk of extra shielding. Okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Maybe. like we destroyed its shield somehow. <laughs> Pulls collectible items to you from 75% further away. Higher levels you'll pull bonus gems from deep space. Nice. 
That seems good. Force effects now have a 40% chance to burn, or enemy tarp is in range. Release the pulse of energy all around your ship that will disable all nearby tarps. Trigger on and destroy enemy shields and energy projectiles. 6.6 .6 second recharge. Okay, um, I do like the Venusphere. I like getting close to all this shit if I don't have to, right? Yeah, look at that. That's a hell of a fucking radius now. I like it. shield for them. And then since we're all full up, I guess, on that, we can upgrade what we have. Uh, reduce recharge time, reduce recharge time, reduce recharge time, and higher damage. That sounds good. Well, Hive Queen Juggernaut class ship is approaching. Okay, boss, right? You can just call it a boss, it's fine. <laughs> Can't aim. Uh, so just move around a bunch, I guess. The thing is, mining over the swarm, you won't find any gems in the smaller ships or asteroids that live on the transport of the queen. So if you want to get paid and live. Okay, cool. So that will end the tutorial, probably. Oh, excuse me. Ah, I see. Oop, careful. It's a matter of leveraging all the shit we've put our upgrades into. Oh, excuse me. And not eating shit whilst fighting a boss. Yeah, there we go. We did it. <laughs> Alright, then I presume shit's gonna start popping off a little more frequently now. One would hope, anyways. Recharge time, recharge time, recharge time, recharge time. Alright, that's fine. I mean, we're full up on weapons and utilities, so I'm okay getting the... getting the boosts and shit now. Force-based weapons probably are good for keeping stuff at the top of the screen so we can have more time to pick it off. Yeah, okay, wait for that to clear out a bit before we go for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's essentially a free upgrade. Okay. Good. Boy, those upgrades are coming a little faster now since we're getting so much stuff. Plus one target, plus 20 max range, sweeps 25% faster. Ooh. It's an upgrade to our, the, our starter weapon, right? So hell yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Okay, seems slightly larger and more effective. Nice. Jeez. Bonk. So try to keep an eye on my health in the bottom left there. Looks like we're doing okay. This one homing targets for that? I don't remember what that one does. Um, sure. Keep it a little balanced on our upgrades, I guess. Variety.
Ooh, taking a few bops now. Probably don't want to. Oh, yeah. Warning about us about the foibles of low shields there. There we go. Slight repair. sideline was. I, oh, I get, I get it. It's on the right-hand side of my ship there. I don't notice it go off because there's so many other things happening. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, I, things getting hectic is, is cool and good. Everything is still very much uh, visible and readable as far as what's going on. So I'm cool with that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's firing EM bombs up there. Sir, we need to stop doing that. Whoop. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I guess we'll max out the radar array there. Enough in there to get it? Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty generous radius. I like that. Free Sunstriker upgrade. Sure. That's my little flame circle things out front. Range, sure. So I wonder if this auto advanced us into the um, actual easy difficulty of the first level since we did start with the tutorial. If so, that'd be great. Get some progress towards everything. Oh, that's a explosive thing. to <laughs> second verse, same as the first, but looks like slightly beefier. sweep thing running clockwise there definitely introduces a favorable direction of movement here relative to everything else. Oops. Oh, careful. There we go. We did it. Get everything. <laughs> Pulse to be repair. Bonk. Oh, I got hit by a D-mine thing. Better weapons, please. Oh, 
Better to take the bop for a, an asteroid than to get hit by an EM mine. gives you that little hot second after an upgrade to take stock of where you are. That's nice. Ooh, oh, we're definitely taking some bops now. Uh, <laughs> like something to provide me with some shields or whatever. Whatever counts for health nowadays. Okay, more of that, sure. safely <laughs> get into that circle up there. There's so much shit going on around it. Whoa. All right, let's try it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Traction radius, please. <laughs> there we go. A little, a little troublesome on the old. Uh... Shields, uh, faster charging shield, please. Oh, ouch. Okay, picked up a slight repair thing there, presumably. Okay, good. Out of immediate danger. Oof, okay. Uh, let's keep buffing our shield there. <laughs> Seemed to have saved me at least once. problem with unupgraded stuff here, I guess. Okay, let's 
get our main weapon beef to full here. Oh, that's taking a while. Uh, <laughs> oh no, uh, there's a double boss going on. Oh shit. Wow. Uh, 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 dangerous. 60, 70. Oh no, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, a flat 15 minutes on our first go of things. Not bad. But alright, so first time through, that should have unlocked a little bit, right? Right? Oh, I see. Okay, so, okay, it's, uh, there's the unlock condition. 3,000 enemy ships across all games. Uh, lots of fire. Uh, knock back a bunch of asteroids. I wish I kind of told us our progress on this, too. That would be, be a nice little feature. Uh, be in a zone with at least two electric weapons. I thought I had... Oh, no. I had an electric weapon and then a bunch of other augments to it. Two victories, six different pilots. Okay. So all the previous pilots, right? All right. How about... Uh, oh, well, actually, yeah, I do want to try the second pilot as well. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so it looks like we have... several of these unlocked now. We can equip, what, three, three other ones? So what do we start with? Um, Lockdown enemy, Hornets, Targets enemy, the light rail, fire instantly, three second recharge. Okay, that's fine and cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. Spectacles that travel off screen have a 40% chance of being collected automatically. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, I see. It tells us the unlock conditions for all these. That's neat. Um, we're not gonna read up on those just yet, though. Let's see how many we can unlock just by playing. Um, okay, I, that sounds pretty good. Um, charge up move next time you take damage and still restores two shields and restores at least a pulse of 10 electric damage around your ship, stunning for five or half a second. Um, that sounds cool too. Uh, taking damage triggers a 75 damage bomb and your location knocks enemies back, but you take an extra three damage. Oh, I see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a smart idea for me. Uh, drops a mini power up on the battlefield, 90 second recharge. Uh, oh, huh. yeah, sure. Turn that one on. Um, all invulnerable damage for any reason, your upgrade timers recharge 10% faster, and your connect upgrades recharge 20% faster. Damn, that sounds good too. Sure, why not? Uh, start the game with a temporary extra weapon. It fires a short range 25 damage every second. Lasts for 9 minutes. Okay, so it lasts for 10 minutes. You just rounded up to 10 minutes. <laughs> And then the rest we don't have. Um, uh, okay, so let's turn on the collection net, I suppose. Um, and silver was fine, yeah. Uh, no longer drop auto repairs, can we... Wait, what do we do? Oh, we need to beat any zone. Okay, so we didn't beat the zone. 15 minutes in, we didn't beat the zone. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, and then a whole bunch of info on the stuff we just fought and collected. Various gems of various values. So obviously the larger the better. Big shock. Uh power up. Okay, I see. Face shift. Screen clear, essentially, repair. <coughs> Overclock. Decent recharge size of 90%. That's not bad. Use function like ultra refined gems is like providing 30% of necessary resources towards upgrading. Nice. Okay. Hey, Archmuffin, how you doing? Good to see you. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, man, I don't know, man. Uh, it's... World Peace? I would want World Peace. Like, World Peace seems like a good Christmas gift to me. But um, if you're looking for something more materialistic, I don't, I don't know. Um, good friends, good food, good drink, perhaps, uh, is another good thing to want for Christmas, I suppose. Um... I don't know, there's a lot of things you could want for Christmas. This is just info on all the shit we've already used. Which, you know, that's probably good info to have at some point, but we're really just ready to go on out of there. Okay, so, tutorial, quote-unquote, right? We did that. And that was getting beefy towards the end, or towards what I presume was the end. So, you know what, let's dial it up to easy and see what happens. And see what happened. Uh, level up faster, plus 50 max shields. 
25% and a nice 25% shield uh, chip hitbox. So that's interesting. 50% chance for lower health ice droids. Scores are reduced by 50%. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's fine. I guess that tracks for uh. Guess that tracks for uh, an easy mode, right? Well, I'm asking what you wanted. You asked for three parentheses, three hugs. She was not terribly amused. What, what do you mean? Like, I I would think as a parent, that would probably be, like, an ideal gift, right? It's cheap, easy to give, and, you know, it's got meaning behind it. So what, what's the what's the deal? What's the problem? Uh, wow, we upgraded already. Okay, um, is there an extra weapon in here? There we go. Let's get some weapons in there before we consider anything else. The more we have popping off at once, the better we'll do, I guess. Oh, I see. So we pick up that one to do a spread of bullets and shit. This is interesting. Okay, so this is more, uh... Uh, I did try the sideline already. Let's see if we can get a different weapon in here. There we go. Drone array. Drone launches out towards one of five alternating targets. Dealing 18 damage to all enemies, it passes over, then returns to the ship. Dealing damage again. Second recharge time will not recharge until it's returned to the ship. Okay. Let's give that a try. <laughs> right? Like, wow. I don't know, yeah, maybe maybe three was underselling it. Who knows? Who knows, really? Okay, this drone orang is kind of underwhelming. A little bit. Oh, I see. It's not targeting enemies, it's targeting those little reticles out in front of me. Um, okay. Force field forms for any ship when enemies in range. The field triggers, knocking back any nearby enemies for half a second and dealing 15 damage. Or backdraft, which is its own kind of thing. No, let's go gravity wave. I see. Okay, so this is gonna be more... It's a more active movement type. Well, I mean, I guess la our last build, our first build, I suppose, was um, it's pretty active on the old movement front as well. Kind of our starter little railgun at the front there is kind of underwhelming as well. This specify should be 50 to 100 bucks. Hey, offended or imply that her hugs are worth less than 30. Oh, hey, that's a good point. Maybe you should just ask for one? And then... Then that implies maximum value. Can you, like, could you do a partial hug? What, does partials work? Do partial hugs work? Because then you could really jack up the value of a single hug, right? Uh, Alright, Heat Seeker, I don't think we have any fire-causing stuff. Oh, Magnetosphere is great. Okay. Ooh, hug pre-order is a good idea, too. Like, people only pre-order shit that they really think is valuable, right? That they're really gonna be into? So yeah, ooh, that's a good idea, too. Oh, I see, so now this is gonna be about... ...kind of getting stuff... Oh, oh, excuse me. Back to where it needs to be. This gravity wave thing is gonna be a, a difficult thing to deal with, I think. We don't have a lot of, like, good damage output. Heat sink reduces recharge time of ability timers. Uh, what are my ability timers? My little augment things? All upgrades and augments that have recharge time. Oh, I see. So everything that's on a timer. That seems pretty good. Three lock on stun. Okay, yeah, alright. 9% uh, reduction. What do I want for Christmas besides World Peace? <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, once you start with World Peace, like, it's hard to go down from there, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that for a hot second to get, like, an actual serious answer. So, enemy dies while burning. They have a 25% chance to explode. 
Um, if, if you're looking for like kind of like a pie in the sky desire for Christmas, I want people to be able to. Hold on a second. I want people to be able to survive without having to destroy themselves with dumb bullshit work. That's what I want. That's what I want for Christmas. I want people to be able to not just survive, to live. I want people to be able to live. Like, that's what I would truly want for Christmas. Like, no garbage proving that you need to, that you deserve to exist. Like, you should just be able to exist and to live as a person. As by mere fact of being a person, you should be able to live. That's what I want. Um, force and sex and feedback loops. Okay, um, do I have force? Oh, yeah, I've got the gravity wave thing. Let's do that. Kind of regretting my choice of the um, little boomerang drone thing. That doesn't seem to be doing very much. What's that? Oh, it's a little. Oh, that's right, that's the four second invincibility thing. Pie in the skies were two in the bush. You know what? I think you're right. I think that is how that phrase goes, isn't it? Um, you have a 20% chance to bounce to nearby targets. Force effects on 40. Do I have a force? I do have a force effect, right? Yeah, our gravity wave thing is a force effect. It's 20% burn chance. All right. Okay, so increase the burn chance, right? Now we're talking. Now things are now things are cooking. Recharge, minus 10% recharge, plus 100% stun duration. No, let's improve our gather radius first. Means we'll get more shit more frequently, right? a little bit not great. <laughs> uh, targeting speed seems good, but I do like uh, recharge reduction just across the board. I wonder if that does affect our targeting speed, though, since it is technically on a timer. collection range up to max as soon as we can. Oop. Yep. I guess our little <coughs> explodo mine things do uh, force push shit too, so that's Getting a little boost from the now 60% fire chance, I suppose. 20% range, 10% move speed. Okay, I mean it's already kind of it's kind of lackluster the way it is. Maybe if we beef it up a bit, it'll do better. Set to have if we want to do any sort of direct damage anywhere. Solid. 
solid boss fight. Looks like we're doing pretty well. Wow, why do we have 150 armor instead of a hundo? Is that because of the different pilot, I wonder? Uh, alright. Let's beef up our gravity wave thing a little bit. We're immune to the EM mines there as well. I guess we'll science that out at our next available opportunity. I can dig the very minimalist music here, though. Like, that's kind of good. You want to be focusing on shit that's happening rather than something that's happening in the background. The music is actually very fitting. Okay, a uh, free upgrade to that. That's cool. Things are going okay. Things are going alright. Um, work's kind of super busy at the moment. Um, which kind of stinks. And not like the really good kind of busy either, so there's that. So that's not the greatest, but... I think overall, in ye olde grand scheme of things, uh, I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, oops, what did I just pick there? Uh, yeah, let's take first, I suppose. Popped up Chivo for something, I don't remember what see what that means. Oh, collect a lot of gems. Okay, got it. I suppose naturally we would collect a lot of gems eventually, right? That's the whole deal. It's the whole currency thing in the situation here. Okay, can we pop an EM mine real quick? Oh, I want to just test out the iframes of that. Yeah. Okay. Pop that. Christmas stress. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Like, any time a major section of holidays rolls around, it's just like, oh man, here we go again, right? Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of any of that. <laughs> I really am not. Which stinks, right? Because holiday times are supposed to be like, you know, fun and relaxing and, and, and whatever. You get to see folks you, you don't see very often. You get to do shit you don't get to do very often, but it just turns out really stressful sometimes. And that stinks. And that really does stink. Um, projectiles for mine. Oh yeah, let's beef that up a little bit. Oh. Popped into that one a bit too quickly, huh? Okay, yeah, I can see these, like, little trigger mine things going pretty well once we get them beefed up a bit more. Oh, I see. The repairs are over time. Not instantaneous. That's what that other meter in the bottom right was, I think. Yeah, see, there it goes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, it's in, uh, it's for plus one max mines. Oh, hey, that sounds great. Get more shit going on the screen at once. Ooh, that's nice, yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. If we'll get the trigger radius turned up in the next upgrade or something, that would be cool too. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit 
problematic. There we go. Alright, looks like we've got that sick maxed out now. That's great. Okay, now upgrades are coming in. Coming in hot! There. Your birthdays, your sister's birthday, and your dad's birthday are all between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh my goodness. Incredible. That's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of things going on. I don't blame you for being a bit stressed out about it. 100% understandable. Now that we're a little bit beefier, it should go a bit faster and be more exciting. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Okay, easy. Looks like our, <coughs> our invulnerability time does cover a little disabling EM mines as well. That's good. I like that. True invulnerability. Good thing to have. None of this baby only protects you from some things invulnerability. damage, plus 20%, plus two projectiles, sure. <laughs> I think those have been a pretty good source of primary damage here. Oh, damn. There's the overclock, I guess, huh? Nice. That really does some serious work. our little boomerang drones as best we can. Since whenever, when we got the second one there, then it started being good. Just having the one is just kind of eh. Burn chance, sure, sure. Some repairs since we are taking a lot of bops without me even really paying attention. Nice fifteen percent charge needed to trigger. Or sorry, charge. I don't remember what that does, but we'll we'll upgrade it. <laughs>
Let's max out our mines. Okay. Uh, please hurry. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, well. Uh, okay. Whew. Oh shit. We get an evolved weapon because we've got too much good stuff. Longer despawn and slowly move towards your ship. Within range of Magnus 3, they accelerate and then we trigger them and we do more shit with it. Okay, that sounds great. Except we're almost dead now, so I don't know how. How much we'll be able to see it in action. Ouch. Oh shit, that looks rad as hell. Oh no, and now I'm dead. <laughs> uh, okay, so we didn't do so good that run. Um, less than half of our score. But it was on easy mode, so you know, that's what happens. Alright, we're ready to graduate to normal to normal big person mode. Um, did we unlock any new pilots? Oh we did. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Pulse cannon. Alright, line sways back and forth, firing a pulse of three 17 damage bullets. Uh, fire too quick, blah, 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 four second recharge time. Oh, we also unlocked RAM. Oh, it starts with the gravity wave, I see. Which, honestly, gravity wave is pretty sick. I did like that. <clears throat> Which I explain, explosive debuff on up to five targets, yada, yada, yada. Alright, well, one thing at a time. We'll make our way through whatever we unlock, when we unlock it. <clears throat> And then, once we get everything unlocked, then shit starts popping off, right? Okay, upgrade utilities 50 times. Okay, we're doing these just by playing the game, which is good. Uh, Reroll 30 times across all games. Okay. Um, these rerolls now carry over up to a maximum of four. Okay. <clears throat> Unlock the symbionic upgrade Kinetic Sweeper. Okay, no, we got the one of the other ones, right? Shift size reduced by 30%, speed increased by 33%, but you take two additional damage and have minus 30% max shields. Uh, okay, well, let's try that. Smaller hitbox, right? That's really what we're going for. Uh, nano repair modulator, those aren't ready yet. This is ready, though. Increase max shields by two every time a power up is collected and one for a mini power up to a maximum of 100 bonus shields. This does not repair shields. Uh, yeah, sick. That sounds good. More shields to offset the lack of shields we're going to have for being tiny. Uh, okay, let's yada, 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 unstable core, yeah, no, supply depot, no, 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 slag shot. Asteroids are destroyed, three projectiles launch upwards, ooh, seems pretty cool. <clears throat> Nido beam, moving around, charges up a beam attack when full, a massive blast of energy releases, dealing ten damage every quarter second, for three seconds. Seems good. This is the last one that we unlock. Increases duration of power effects by 20%, nice, okay. Now, big fuck off laser beam sounds great, let's go. Um, have we unlocked a different ship yet? No. We need to do specific chivos for this. Hmm. That's probably like boss kills or whatever. Alright, uh, I, I'm a fan of just like the plain old silver. Silver is very striking. In a game that's got a lot of like bright colors and shit, like having a, a base ass silver, that I can lock onto with my eyeballs. Um, and then the rest we can't do since we haven't actually completed a level yet. <laughs> But alright, standard mode. Standard mode it is. Oh wow, yeah, that is a tiny little ship. Tiny little shipperoo. Oh yeah, we have significantly less health though, so uh that's gonna be fun. Oh, there's the beam. Uh, okay. That's uh, a pretty big fuck-off beam. A little nondescript when it appears, though. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. I think beefing up our weapon set first, or rather expanding our weapon set first is a good idea. That gets us the most shit going on at once. And then we can worry about upgrading stuff later. Okay, 
Okay, uh... Your target appears moving left and right with you. It locks on and fires one homing flare at one target in the area. <laughs> Can't target asteroids, that's fine. Just trying to avoid those. But it does do fire, so I do like the fire. Like, give me tick damage for any reason. Fire, poison, ice, whatever, I don't care. Anything. Anything like that is super cool. Oh, I see. Okay. Set a fixed distance up the screen. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. I do like that all the weapons seem to have a good variety of targeting patterns. That makes it quite interesting when you start mixing and matching. Uh, there's a 4% chance of blah 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 blah. We have another weapon there. Oh, I did like the electro line. Um, actually, let's reroll. Let's see if we get a different weapon that we haven't used before. Static Surge counts as a weapon? Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Something, something, wait for a while, move around a bunch, and it'll do an electrical discharge. There, like that. So you're invulnerable, and then you slam into a bunch of shit. I can get behind that. Honestly, get behind that a lot. <laughs> There we go. Go for it. It looks like you get like a good solid four seconds or whatever, but it looks like you then are left vulnerable. Can I actually read? Okay, yeah, I want to read about that a little bit. Invulnerability, deal electric damage on collision. EMP state after that slows you and disables upgrades and powers. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. So yeah, we get like a hot second and a half, two seconds after we use it to... Uh, or after it triggers to think about what we've done. Mmm, that's dangerous. I hope upgrades reduce that time. Fair drone. Fair drone appears in blah 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 blah. Adds an extra projectile to all of your non-homing projectiles. I don't know that we have... We have non-homing projectiles? Oh yeah, our, our basic one is a projectile weapon. Seems good then. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to get the uh, the thing what which increases our grab distance. <laughs> that that I like. That I like is like a good, very, very consistent upgrade to have. I do like that everything that we have that's on a timer or a gradual buildup has a little meter on it. I wish there was a little bit, especially for our, our static ability, I wish there was a meter nearby our ship so I didn't have to glance over at the bar to see how far we are from it. Hmm. Speaking of grabby distance, there it is. Oink. Projectile. Okay, so now we get two bonus projectiles to stuff. That's cool. It's the only thing, that static thing that causes me some concern is that it disables us for a, a hot minute after we come out of it, which is a little bit troublesome. I guess they can't have just a, an unequivocal boon, can you? There's got to be some downside to it. Enemies take electric or fire damage. It's charged up. When full, triggers a power-up that makes all damage sources deal 1.5x damage for three seconds. Damn. Uh, okay. That seems good. Like, we've got uh, a pretty strong electrical damage component to us. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Give, give me that. Plus, I think our little circle homing thing up there does fire damage, so that's 100% up in there, too. Beautiful. Oh, we are nearly dead. 
wasn't paying attention to what my <laughs> to what my health situation was. I guess that's on me. A drone appears at the top of the battlefield, slowly moving down or damaging. This drone will make it shoot two beams that deal 15 damage. Blah 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 blah. After being damaged six times, it breaks into gems. Ten second recharge time after being destroyed. Interesting. Beam weapons have a 20% chance to bounce to nearby targets. I think our big fuck off beam counts for that. Yeah. Uh, it does. Okay. Um, that seems good. Any traps within range? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. No, no. Half second duration, plus 35% stun duration, minus three tenths of a second disabled state. That seems like a good thing. <laughs> like when every fraction of a second counts in games like these, like any reduction in that is, is pretty good. Once we upgrade it a touch more, it'll be even more, even more valuable. Beautiful. There we go. Oh wow, look at that fucking damage output. Incredible. Love it. Beautiful. Good boss fight. Still a little worse for wear on the shield armor department there, but that's okay. It's 25% range, 10% chance, 8 damage per projectile. Oh, I see. Okay. That's our basic weapon. Uh, wow. Any of these is good upgrades. Let's go. So it looks like it doesn't disable any active effects while it's going. So if our big fuck-off laser is going and we get the, the EMP cooldown, it doesn't stop the big fuck-off beam. Which is nice. damage per pulse, 50% damage pulse, and gains a force knockback at the end of the effect. Alright, so no no cooldown reduction, unfortunately. That time, but... Oh, but we can still take another EM knockout while that's still uh, going, though. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't think that was in the manual. That's okay. Ah, there we go. There's a disablement reduction. More damage, more pulse speed damage. <laughs> Alright, let's max that out. Betcha. Beautiful. 
gonna slow us down a little bit when we're when we come off of it. It's unfortunate, but no deal. please. Mm -hmm. Okay, still a little bit in not great territory for health. Shields or whatever counts as health nowadays. is really a saving grace sometimes, isn't it? 100% target area size? Okay, sure. Oh yeah, that's much better. Problematic fight considering our lack of health now. <laughs> Interesting, interesting little combo we had going on there. Uh, okay, so Ram starts the gravity wave and a blow dozer. Force effects deal and apply an explosive debuff. All right, that sounds really good. Considering our start, right? Um, okay. We start with gravity wave and then whatever else we've got unlocked here. Space net wasn't bad. The small ship was okay. I mean, speed is good, right? If you take the damage, your ship remains invulnerable for three times as long. Wow, okay, three times as many iframes. Uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, the max shield buff was pretty good, too. Um, let's throw on Supply Depot and then one more. Just duration of power-ups by 20%. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? We still got the 
first ship still. No other unlocks there, but alright, okay. Okay, that recharge time is ridiculous. that as best we can when we can. Sunstriker was great, actually. Um, yes, let's grab that. Just to have something else doing damage instead of this just purely like, once every five seconds gravity wave, which honestly is a good weapon to have, but boy howdy is it uh, extremely time-based. <laughs> Okay, so these are orbital options, essentially. Enemy stun for a tenth of a second takes 18 damage. If your beacon recharges for a quarter second, charge time is not affected by heat sink. Oh, that's... Um, seems good, though. Like, orbital seems like a good choice. Oh, yeah, look at that. So they recharge pretty frequently. A quarter second isn't much time. was a weapon we had in the first run, I think, but I don't... Uh, electric upgrades... which do we... Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got our orbitals. Sure, yeah. Electric orbitals definitely makes that a pretty good choice. Oh, Sunstriker counts as a beam weapon. Okay. Um, that seems like a good idea, then. <laughs> Improves the radius of the Sun Striker as well. That would be incredibly good. When a beam weapon damages an enemy, all enemies in the area are burned. Oh shit! That seems real good too. We'll lean into the lean into the thing that we got, huh? wave more effectively here.
percent stun minus thirty percent plus twenty. Okay, I was hoping that would increase the frequency of it as well, but no such luck. But I think that is now maxed out. Uh, increase the number of enemies or lock-on abilities. Do we have any lock-on abilities? I don't think we do. No. Light rail is a different weapon. Let's see what else we can get there. Electric effects have a 10% chance to apply burn. Okay, uh, yeah. Really lean into that, huh? Now our lightning orbitals are gonna be doing some serious work. Her targeted charges up while on enemies and releases a cone shaped blast. 50 damage each, damn. Uh, okay, that seems real nice. Fill up our weapons. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, okay. flamethrower shotgun type thing. Just Pretty cool. We didn't leave space for the the grabby radius improvement. Oh well. Damn that flame shotgun really does it. <laughs> Love it. Okay. There's your certified boss killer right there. Chance to burn more damage on that, more uh, projectiles on that. Now let's try to even this up a bit, huh? Hey, game over. How you doing? Let's see it. Oh, we're not near the end yet. We got another solid half hour plus to go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Stun, 5% electric. Okay, well, we got plenty of electric going out. That's for dang sure. Well, hot damn, the asteroids are filled with gems. I guess that tracks, doesn't it? It really does track. Doesn't really matter <laughs> which shit we upgrade now. All of it's pretty beastly.
Oops. <laughs> rocks are full of rocks. I mean, right? I guess that the logic checks out, doesn't it? I didn't think space rocks would be uh, quite as valuable as they are, but here we are. Uh, okay, yeah, let's upgrade our orbitals a touch. Ooh, this pair of armor's taking a, a bit of a beating here, because I've got so excited about rocks full of rocks. Get another orbital on that one? Oh, hell yeah. Probably read those a bit more closely before I click through them, but eh. Wouldn't be very much fun, would it? Yeah, damn, these lightning orbitals are doing some work. Go faster. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. and our flame shoddy. Oh, easy. That's exactly why would you like the sound design. I do too. Like, it's very, it's very light. It's a light touch sound design, which I think in a in a game where shit be popping off at every available opportunity, like, a light touch is definitely fucking good. Like, it's not overwhelming. It's not cacophonous. It's very much aware of what it's doing. Which is very good. Because we're hearing a lot of explosions and a lot of bullets and a lot of everything, and it's not overwhelming. And the lo-fi stuff is pretty good too. Like I'm a, I'm a, I've got a, I've got a weakness for lo-fi stuff. I will admit, 100%. No shame in admitting that. Shoddy doing the boss kill thing that it do.
depends on that EMP timing there. <laughs> trying to keep like one side eye on my health in the lower left there and we're doing okay at maintaining it I suppose just gotta not be too greedy which is always a problem of course when we get iframes like a solid five seconds of iframes it's hard not to get greedy <laughs> <laughs> Fucking overcharge and ever on that is just great. Flame shotty with overcharge is probably my new favorite thing. Damn. Okay, uh more burn chance, sure. Oh, okay, that's gonna be a bit dangerous to grab before we pop this sucker off here, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. Alright, so we don't need to remain perfectly still, we just need to be in that circle. That's good. That's good science to have done. Beast mode our way through any asteroids here. Nope, nope. Okay, I was hoping that was a repair in there. <laughs> position now. There's a repair. Okay, good. Give that some time to work. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, clear some of that out. It's fine. Everything's fine. Bonk. Oh, careful. Oh my god. Everything's just popping off immediately at once here. Uh! Oh no! Uh! Uh! <laughs> Please. Okay, there's a repair. Good. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. Oh yeah, it's great. This is I'm having a blast with this. And the the real like plus part on that is it's less than five bucks. <laughs> it's like four bucks. Four bucks and change because it's on sale for 25% off, so. Like absolutely pick it up, it's great. It has exceeded expectations for a little five buck game, so 100 percent recommend. Um she's let's improve our Flame bits there, I suppose. There's another repair. Okay, good. Jeez, that's a lot of EMP mines to be tossing out here. Excuse me, sirs. Start detonating those further up so we've got some room to maneuver. <laughs> okay, now we're doing alright. We're about a half health. Things in less of a precarious position here. Oh, ouch. Okay, I'm gonna have it 
think this is the double boss fight. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be slightly problematic, I think. Unless we get iframes, then we can just go to town. Frames there. Get out of there. Oh, jeez. Just barely hugged that one out. There, there. It's fine. Okay, there goes one of them. Oh, okay. It's fine. Boy, these orbitals doing maximum work. Beautiful. Is that the end of the level now? <laughs> Did we do it? Wow, nice. Okay. Beautiful. Good job. We did it. We beat the first level. <laughs> Flat 15 minutes. We beat the first level. Beautiful. So that unlocks a couple other things, I think. That gets us, um, one, the next level, of course. Um, I think it also gets us new pilots? No, it does not. Okay, what do we gotta do? Okay, we gotta set a bunch of shit on fire. Gotta have two electric weapons when we beat a level. And we have to get a victory with five, with the other five pilots. Or the other six pilots, rather. Okay. Okay, well, cool. I, Ram is the starting gravity wave is fine. Um, I did like Badger at the starting pulse cannon, so let's do that. Looks like we've got some other augments to deal with now. Uh, Alright, let's try a different set. See what else we unlocked. First upgrade you equip is always offered to you until level 15. Interesting. So I guess... Yeah, yeah that keeps it on the upgrade path until you either max it out or you get tired of seeing it. That's alright. Uh, what else we got? Increases passive shield regen by 200% and your shields go below 25%. 25. Remains in effect until your shields are over 30. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, yeah. Seems good. Um, oh, I think I had my iframe tripler on last time as well. That was nice. As was the max, uh, shield boost thing. That one's not ready. I think we haven't done unstable core. Let's turn on unstable core, why not? Oh, supply depot was on last time too. I think that might have saved my ass more than once. Uh, fuck off beam was nice. The power cell of increasing by 20% was nice as well. Um, let's do placeholder, I guess, for now. Start with a temporary extra weapon, and it lasts for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Uh, it's like, that's two-thirds of the run, essentially, right? It takes about 15 minutes to get through a level. Okay, still got the first ship only, and now we can turn on some extra stuff. Uh, bosses don't drop auto repair. What, wait, what does this do? Like, if we turn this on, if we turn any of this stuff on, do we get, like, more stuff? Uh, each has its own challenge level and can combine to determine your total difficulty. Okay. It doesn't say that we get more things for doing so, but I would suppose you would, right? Because otherwise, what's the point? Aside from, you know, the challenge is the challenge. <clears throat> So, okay, let's turn that one on, that's fine. Every 13 seconds, an EMP trap spawns in any zone. Every 13 seconds? That's pretty often, actually. Um, asteroids no longer spawn. Asteroids have 100, 100 more health and 3 armor. Holy shit. Uh, gems now have a 30% chance to disintegrate after 2 seconds. Interesting. <clears throat> Standard upgrade data beacons no longer appear, so not affect symbionic beacons. Okay. Start the game at the 4 minute mark. Okay. Non-boss enemies attack more frequently, and enemies that fire missiles fire more. Oh, jeez. Symbionic upgrades are disabled. Okay, we've only seen one of those so far. But, yeah, I don't want to turn those off. It seems cool and awesome when you do get one. Random space junk now clutters the battlefield. Bosses and elite ships have 25% more health. 15% more enemies. That... Uh, okay, I could see turning that one on. Why not? Uh, two persistent energy beams stretch across the screen vertically, limiting movement and dealing damage. Okay, so... Uh, 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 zoning us out effectively, right? No, we're not going to turn that on yet. Uh, random enemies and asteroids are periodically begin to flash and then blow up. Dangerous. Hard and elite enemies show up earlier and more often. Start with <laughs> fewer shields, and shields do not passively regen. Oh boy, that's dangerous. 
6 to 12 seconds, an unseen enemy fires a long range 8 damage mortar attack near your current position from deep space. Oh, that's not fair. A uh, starter weapon cannot be upgraded. Enemy energy projectiles, EMPs, gas clouds deal double damage. Jesus. Only equip 3 utilities. Max level is 18. Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll keep these two that I selected on, but the rest are kind of... <laughs> All right, cool. So there's the... Interesting. Um, oh, I see. So you can choose to do it without the trials turned on just right away. That's kind of a neat little shortcut. I like that. Um, but hey, we turn those trials on for a reason. So let's let's work with them. Let's let's play with them on. Okay. Well, until until we get some better weapons going on here, we won't be busting out open any asteroids. That's for sure. Oh, it's that little spidery looking thing. Excuse me. Oh! 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 Oh no, that was our little other explodey thing we had going on too. When you take damage, you do a you do a, a small explode. Oh damn. I did like both the gravity wave and the essentially fire shoddy, but uh, let's see if we can grab something else. Sentry drone. Drone rate rotates around you, locking onto nearby unshielded enemy, firing rapid 10 damage homing missiles. Okay. Uh, orbitals are good. Like, the lightning orbitals were fucking pros. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hopefully we get more of those. Interesting little orbital thing we got going now. Okay. Pretty rapid fire, though, so I don't mind that. Three, tar three enemies targeted by lock on effects take an additional 10 beam damage. Uh, yeah, seems good. We've got the orbital lock on going. on the left under the utility thing to see when it's active, I suppose, right? Yeah. I suppose that could be used as either offensive or defensive weapon. I, we did, we've seen Backdraft, but we haven't taken it ever, so let's grab that. <laughs> How hard could something called Trials be, right? Well, I, I think it just means, like, we play with the Trials we selected instead of just playing plain old vanilla, right? So we know what we're getting ourselves into, sometimes. Um, so it's as hard as we want to make it, right? Which is, you know, I can appreciate, like, I can appreciate handing a player the tools to their own demise, right? When they fully understand what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm into that. 5% chance that when an enemy dies, two projectiles will launch out. Ooh. So, okay, exploding corpses, essentially, right? Our effects of a power-up lock on to two near every 1.5 seconds. It is from three times an electric damage. Locks onto and places a temporary mark on an enemy every 4.2 seconds that lasts three seconds. Damaging that enemy triggers a 20, 20 damage bonus and has a 15% chance to spawn a gem. Interesting. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? I see. Let's say random drone, right? Interesting. We have to work with the movement of our orbital a little bit to do actually good stuff. But it's got a pretty large targeting radius, too, at the start, which is nice. All while trying to deal with our fixed targeting little pulse cannon thing, which is doing whatever. Fully charged creates a temporary copy of a random drone. Ooh, I mean, if we're gonna lean into drones. We've got two drone things already. Hell yeah, let's lean into drones. Oh yeah, Hades is part of, what was it? Like the, the punishment things? Man, love Hades. Hades, great game. Let's go back and play that again. Yeah, I 100% am into that stuff. 
Like, let me dial up the challenge as one may. And then victory is that much sweeter. Uh, okay. Need more damage. Repair drone? Okay, if we're gonna lean, like, lean into drones, right? Oh, got either a repair drone or an offense drone. Let's do an offense drone. I'm gonna have to see if I can grab the soundtrack for this game somewhere. Because this is rad as fuck. Like, lo-fi? Beautiful. Lo-fi, beautiful stuff. Um, oh, free upgrade to our drone thing. Okay, good. Excellent. Oh, it's the kind of the bigger fuckers that are doing the weird poison cloud things. Ow. And then our little beam drum thing has to have a cooldown, 30% range. Oh, the mines are pretty good, too, and we are currently lacking another weapon. But we'll upgrade our existing one for now. Oh, yeah, look at that fucking radius now. Damn, that's sick as hell. with the light rail. That was the starting weapon of, I think, the second pilot. Um, but I was impressed with the fire shoddy. Now let's see if we can reroll into something we haven't seen yet. Sideline we've seen. Um, Hail Mary we've also seen. But we're out of reroll, so, I mean, let's just fill up our weapons and hope the best. using our <laughs> explode on hit thing to uh, as an offensive weapon. It's kind of more dangerous than it's worth, I guess. It's four second drone duration, target will last for ten seconds or its normal max, yada yada yada. Um, the, um, yeah, let's max that out, I guess. That's been probably doing some work even if I haven't been noticing it. Oh, nice. Yeah, that fucking doubles up our, uh, big attack drone up there, our big orbital dude. Like, that's fucking perfect. Target. Oh, damn, yeah, one target is fucking sick. Yeah, give me. Now we're doing essentially double damage output. I love that. More of that, please. suddenly very hurt. Well, probably not suddenly, but, you know, we do our best. <laughs> okay, so he's got some fuck-off lasers going on. That's fine. Good for him. So, so distracting our lock-on shots there. What a shithead. Destroyed his little claw 
things on the front. Okay, that's good. Oop, excuse me. Here, absolutely give me. Orchestrate any good damage output on a single big target here, I think. We really leaned into multi target stuff. Oh, because he's only opening his little weak point every now and again. Alright, we got him. Good job. Looking too bad in the shield department either. that bonus, that 20% bonus to item time really was uh, significant last run. So we'll deal with not having that this time. percent range, 33% attack speed. I mean, we're relying on that for most of our damage output, so yes, please. Give me more. Good lord. Yeah, that's pretty much covering that entire sector around our ship. I love it. That's super good. Hope one of the next upgrades for it is adding an additional stuff, fully additional thing. Yep. Max target, max duration. Okay, that's oh, that was one of our other drone things. That's cool too. damage from missile time attack speed. Alright, so no additional drone, but definitely beefing up what we have. I forgot we had backdraft going on too. Like I had totally ignored that. Sure. Like what? What is it even? Do? Okay, I see it. Okay. It seems like such a <laughs> such a minor part in our weapon set so far that I have not even noticed it. Just wanted to grab it to see what it was about. Turns out it's not that great. Oh well, win some, lose some. Maybe once we upgrade it a bit more, it'll make more sense. A little poorly on the health front here. Let's see what we got. Overclock with that set is pretty good too. Alright, let's beef up our standard weapon now. Ooh, yo, oh, mm. Some poor movement choices there. Ow. Oh, oh! <laughs> Honk. <laughs> ah, there were some new enemy targeting reticles going on there. Whoops. Alright, no problem. Uh, did that unlock anything new as far as pilots are concerned? No. Okay, no problem. Alright. 
back to uh, starting dude scout here. He's got the little radar sweepy thing around him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness. All right. Well, it's getting kind of late, but we've got time for like one more super good solid run here. So let's see what we can do with this. Utility at the start from three random selections at 10 minutes, or when you've equipped three other utilities, it will be automatically. Wait, what? Choose the utility at the start of the game at 10 minutes, or when we have three others, it'll be automatically equipped. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like a delayed. After 10 minutes, or after you fill up your utilities, you'll get this extra one? Or no, you'll get the fourth one filled in. I. Hmm, that's weird. That seems weird. Well, let's give it a go. Unused rolls. Okay, yeah, we haven't done any enough rerolls to unlock that. We haven't unlocked whatever that is. Um, uh, haven't done that. Clear 20 shields with a disruptor. I don't know what the disruptor is. Uh, we haven't used the jumper cables yet. Let's see. Charges up with movement. Next time you take damage, they instantly restore two shields. And release a pulse of blah blah blah. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh... I don't know if we used the antimatter engine. I think it was alright. Destroying asteroids releases bullets. That seems pretty okay. Damn, we were working on this. Equip and upgrade three drones. Couldn't go the distance to that last run to make that work, unfortunately. Lock the symbiotic up for a rupture wave, which we haven't done. Lock on to 5,000 enemies with a gun lock across all games. Okay, well, we got half seas in one run, so that's pretty good. I think that's the first dude here. <laughs> hey, Kenny, how you doing? Good to see it. Well, Mr. Bot, one more approved. I mean, that applies to very, like, a significant number of games, really. Um, it's not really a, a special mark or anything else. Um, but we do have time for one more, so, you know, take that as you will. Okay, we got one more slot to fill up. Let's, um... Supply Depot was pretty good. Let's go with that. We still haven't unlocked the any of the other ships yet. We've got these two things rolling, more enemies, and no auto shields after bosses. That's fine. Uh, let's go. So now we just need to... Okay, right, because we get one. We can choose one that will unlock in ten minutes or after we get three others, right? Uh... Let's take the one we haven't had yet. Or no, I guess it's gonna have to... I, I wonder if it's gonna be an extra utility, or if it's gonna fill up the fourth utility slot. That's my... that's my wonder here. Yeah, now this... This particular attack pattern is gonna take some time to get back used to here. So it waits until it does the full sweep before it fires. Which is something, you know. Uh, so we definitely want a second weapon. Static Surge was okay. Uh, let's see if we can reroll to get something else, though. Oh, yeah. Sun Striker was definitely a big fave, so... Give me some more of that light shit on fire action here. Disruptor, here we go. Enemy traps within range, blah 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 blah. Okay, we, we haven't had that one yet, so let's, let's grab it. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, so we need to wait to see to some, uh, some of the EMP bomb stuff that work, I guess. Uh, the Electro line I do recall liking a lot as well. Hail Mary was okay, even though it's a fixed targeting thing. 
Plus three lock-on stun enemies. Okay, we've got, yeah, we've got built-in lock-ons, so yeah, absolutely. Grab that stuff. Okay, I think that was one of the mini power-ups from our supply depot boom at the start there. Grabby distance one or not. Oh, that's a that's a weapon. Oh right, right, right. The electro orbitals are considered a weapon. Honestly, that was probably the, the big carry in the run that we've completed. Uh so I'm okay taking that again. <laughs> Look at that. Just fucking It's also hugely responsible for destroying a lot of these asteroids too. Just more gems, more currency, more upgrades and shit, so. 100% gimme. Hell yeah. Um, percent chance when enemy dies, yada yada yada. Okay. Like, explody corpses, right? Explody corpses. And now we get our extra little gift box thing that we picked out at the start. Okay. So it's not an extra utility, it's just one that gets filled in later. Unfortunate. Oh, I didn't even notice at the top right there, that's the level progress. Those little, um, magenta bars. Cool. Okay. That's good. Because I was about to be like, like, what, what's the deal? What, what determines, uh... Oh, then we could really lean into orbitals here. Uh, sure. Lean the fuck into orbitals. I was really wondering before, like, what, what determined our, our run... Our run max distance here, or max time here, or whatever, I guess that's there. It does seem like it's a fixed scroll speed, so it's not like it's gonna... ...probably exceed 15 minutes, I suppose. It'll depend on our boss kill time. There we go. Oh man, super good. <laughs> Orbitals are super good. I can't believe it. Hell yeah, go for it. Grab this whilst we're invincible. Yeah, baby. Basic targeting attack there. I think once that gets fully powered, that tends to be pretty, pretty all right. Still doing okay. We don't have to be quite concerned with our health just yet. Probably should be. Now we don't have to worry for four seconds. <laughs> and now destroy enemy shields. Minus 50% recharge time. Oh, we haven't really used the disruptor yet, have we? Or maybe we have? I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of like EMP mines going on. Oh, plus two targets, 10% range. So faster, farther. Hell yeah. Give me that. Give me that shit. stuff's gonna start popping off. Oh, man, I should stop running into things. Two targets in 20% range. Uh, yeah, absolutely. 
It's probably doing the, the lion's share of our damage output. I mean, well, besides the orbitals, I guess. Besides the little lightning orbs. Ooh, onto a boss fight, which won't have the... Uh, oh, crap! Which won't have the uh, repairs dropping at the end, either. It's just gonna be unfortunate for us. Oh, careful. Oh! Or I could just run my ass right into him. That'll solve a lot of problems. <laughs> Oops! Da feck! Alright. Oh, it just restarts you with your your uh your loadout. Okay, that's that's actually that's fine. I'm okay with that. The quick restart option is uh probably could have been named a little bit better, but I mean that's neat that they have that. 100%. I'm into it. Shield is alright. Let's re-roll that. I wanted like a different weapon as well. Oh yeah, the fucking sentry drones are definitely up there too. So now we've got lock-ons for days, and so whatever whatever uh boon that was that improved lock-ons is pretty much a lock now. Ha! <laughs> I get it. A lock. Pulse Cannon was shitty, I didn't like that. The Drone Ring was also equally shitty. We don't have electric weapons just yet. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess we'll prove the one of the lock-on bits at least. Okay, we get a reroll back. That's interesting. Okay. Burning target. Okay, there's the fire shoddy. Uh, sure, we could do with some more forward-facing damage. Be the boss buster, essentially, like it was last time. good. Oh, I guess we can focus down the asteroids now. That's kind of nice. Faster upgrades and shit. Uh, force effects now have a 40% chance. Um, does our uh, fire shoddy technically considered force? I don't know. Let's take the kinetic shield, I guess. That at least has an immediate benefit. Well, delayed immediate benefit. So not immediate at all. <laughs> oh, and then there's the, uh, the lightning orbitals again. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that seems like almost an instant take, considering how fucking effective they are. Uh, 
well, how effective they will be once we get some juice into them. Extra homing to... extra projectiles are all non-homing. Damn, I was hoping that was gonna be the, the luck on bits. Not such luck. I don't have any force bits either. Yeah, beam weapon. We don't have any beam weapons either. Damn, all this stuff. Can't make it synergize with what we got. Got a repair drone in some area. I guess we'll have to be on the lookout for that. Oh, there. Well, that's kind of handy. These repairs is a good thing considering I've eaten shit the last two runs. Drone cloner isn't bad. Oh, like we've got we've leaned into drones pretty hard. So uh, yeah, yoink, and we get whatever we pick to the start there. Oh, the disruptor thing. Okay, or the explodey corpses thing rather. Possible explodey corpses. Chance of exploding corpses. And what would you do if that was the weather report tomorrow? Chance of exploding corpses. That'd be kind of creepy, and sudden. Probably still beat having a snowstorm or whatever. Alright, let's so projectile, 2% base chance, minus 5% chance decrease on trigger? I don't know what that means necessarily, but we'll go with it. Yeah, that repair drone is keeping us nice and topped off. I'm cool with that. got a bunch of stuff we can just leaning into it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to pick just one thing to lean into considering how much awesome shit we've got now okay it looks like each uh, each individual zone of the level is five minutes okay so it's like a I guess that tracks right Cause it's a fixed scroll speed it's good to know gauge on how far we are through each level segment. Now, now I feel like we'll have some real solid damage output just to kind of go to town here. seem to be that much of a of a threat considering what we have. going on here. We're a lot safer than we have been. Although, getting up in this guy's grill is problematic. There we go. Prove our base lock on there. Yeah, 
those repair drones are doing work. shoddy a bit. That seems a bit slow. And more projectiles for it. That's fine. That's fine too, I guess. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> okay. Two here. <laughs> Too many good things to lean into, really. This is about the time they started putting additional targeting reticles on the screen from the enemies, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Ah, yeah, from this fucker here. He's got orbiting fucking asteroids. That's, that's, that's not fair! Why do you get to conscript the inanimate objects? Little shithead. There, fuck you. Oh wow, we get a whole lot, a whole bunch from knocking him out, though. Have I seen any of the new Pokemons? No. All I've heard really is that it's buggy as hell, but people still like it. Like that's the extent of my knowledge of it. Oh, so we can get a fifth one here. Hell yeah. And you know, if that's the case, like, even if it is buggy as hell, which almost certainly it was rushed out the door because crunch time and all that, like, if people like it, that's great. Good for them. I myself have never found any particular joy in the Pokemon games. It's not my thing. But I'm glad that a lot of people like them. That's cool. That's cool. Now we are just popping off here. I thought the fourth orbital was gonna be good. No, the fifth one is where it's at now. More targeting on our giganto fuck orbital now too. Um. Okay, and then we can. All right. Yeah. You know, I guess we can lean into some defensive options now too. So we were neg neglecting that. The entire run. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, just pop three Chivos at once for some reason. Do not have the time to look at what those are. Oh yeah, now the plus 15% enemies trial thing is starting to kick in, I think. Okay, he's a little bit more active with his laser targeting there. Shithead. Yeah, ba 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 ba. <laughs> Look at that shit. Wild. Too bad his uh, weak points weren't active during any of that. That would have just fucking vaporized him. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Open up them claws. There we go. <laughs> oh, still got his thing going. Come on, open up! Open up, bitch! <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Alright. Final segment here. Five more minutes of destroying the hell out of everything. We've been pretty well topped off on health for a good long time after we got those Healy drones. Um... Hell yeah, let's beef up our attack options now. Like, this can- I can see this being utter chaos at some point, but this is extremely good chaos. Everything is still very visible, noticeable, you know what's gonna hit you and what's not. Excellent design. Not trying to be too flashy with the effects and shit. It's really good. This is this feels real nice. Try to stay in, stay in the little Healy Bomb radiuses every now and again. We're pretty good. Get additional repairs on top of that. It's just fucking gravy.
thing earlier. Okay, uh, I mean... <laughs> At this point, the level ups are just gonna go into the least leveled up thing to balance out. Feels like as good a strategy as any at this point, because our damage output is honestly sufficient to clear a, a decent amount of any of this. Drive, whatever the fuck it is, Just rip everything. <laughs> okay, it's one of the long term ones. It's fine, we got plenty of time. <laughs> The, the slow go ones are the little synesthetic, whatever, synchrony, synergized ones. They have an active shield, the gunlock transforms, gaining 3 max targets, 25 damage, and the ability to target asteroids. Oh shit, that's fucking sick as hell. I don't know how often our extra shield bit is going to be active considering, but that's fun. It's active right now. <laughs> Look at this. Look at what it's doing. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. it. Makes two revolutions. It does so much more damage. We can target so many more things. It's kind of incredible. Corpses. More frequent exploding corpses. More deadly exploding corpses, please. Everything. All of the above. Oh, Alright, I guess we don't get double double scorpion dudes this time. It's just a single, somewhat beefier dude. about Disco Elysium. I remember it was the the hot shit talk of the town for a bit, but I haven't heard anything about it recently. That's one of the... It's on one of my lists of things to check out. I just have not gotten around to it because I get distracted or other shit comes up or whatever as happens frequently. Oh, now he's got asteroids for protection. Excuse me, sir, that's not fair. There we go. Fuck you. I have an overclock fucking flame shoddy. You little butt. Oh, all his protective asteroids are gone now. I guess we murdered all of that. <laughs> Our overclock flame shoddy. Oh, except we are now quite nearly dead here. I suppose we should, um... Ah, never mind. We're, we're, we're probably good. Bonky shit. We did it. <laughs> now we get to pick up the scraps and then be on our way. Nice! 88.522... 92.063. Pretty okay. 
pretty okay and an extremely good run to end on. I mean, there's but there's still two digits of score. <laughs> there's still the hundred thousand place and then the millions place that we need to attempt to get to at some point. But hey, all right, Gunlocked, pretty good game. I'm having fun with this one. Um, did we unlock anybody new? Okay, so we unlocked another new pilot. Uh, we still need to do the whole electro business with this, or to unlock this one. But next time we will pick up Pyre. Oh, six starts with Sunstriker. That's great. I love it. So very fire focused. I can get behind that one. And then eventually we'll have to do a clear with all everybody to unlock this one, right? That should be fun. What else did we unlock here? Do we have all the Augs unlocked now? Oh no, not the reroll one quite yet. We did just do Kinetta Sweeper, which is nice. Huh, okay. There's not really... Yeah, we've got pretty much all the other Augs unlocked, except for this one. Rupture Wave. Okay, so that's going to be Gravity Wave plus something else, probably, just based on the name itself. Ship we have yet to do. Okay. Need to find out what these are some other point that's fine and then trials of course are already unlocked we unlocked a whole bunch of information that we can go through at our leisure at some other point um but that'll have to wait for next time because we're done for tonight but hey good good fucking opening experience with gunlock i like this a lot this is really good so we will resume this next week um but next stream will be tomorrow night 7 30 p.m cst smut book club so uh, more Hyper Duel or Kaikon or any of the five uh, SBC 5th Anniversary shmups we got going on. Um, off on Friday, off on Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. CST's Long Play, uh, some more Curse of the Dead Gods. And then Monday, 7 p.m. CST, coming back here with Gunlocked. Super fun game. I'm having a good time with it. I hope you all are too. Um, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.